That's a Because really, you guys have been listening. Bro. The whole like, why artists are doing this now? Right. Well, I'm, I'm basing what you're doing upon the song that I already love. Yeah, and if so you don't hit the not, mark, it's your song. Not even just that, because that's the bread aspect. Because a lot of these people ain't getting paid. It's like a sixty forty split. It's like yeah. oh, it was but no, so but, but, but here we so get a low cut and get on this one. The problem is, as a listener, when I hear your song that's already familiar in my head because it's a song that I love, and then you don't meet the mark, now, now I'm upset. It. Now I hate it. I hear that. Now I'm upset right. because you took my song that I grew up and on child, and that I love, and, and that you did. Give me this. Most people don't. Because let me start you open. I went to the concert. That's, that's your song. That's, that's his the first song. Song. That was the Take Care album. That was his first song. And it wasn't until at the show. Shut and then he dropped the lights. And now he was out. Very but now I was like, yo, who fucked right. the game up with you this? Do it right. He did this and right, bro. Because everybody who liked that song yeah. likes this song. Like and it's a slow version. It's a slow that's version. That's why I'm sh shout out to Jay Spongeboy for writing that's that song on that album. Specifically the song that we talked about tonight. James, you did your shit. So shout out to you. But, you know what I'm saying? Put Drake yeah. on the back. I'm talking about him right now. And, and, and that's what I said. There's a way There's a way to do anything. And I think that what happens is, let's not forget, a lot of these babies is crack babies. So I'm not going I'm not gonna miss the mark on that. And then I'm also going to say that, you know, because of um, numbers and, and followers or whatever they're saying is trending, they're like, this is the formula. And then you run the formula hap haphazard. And ass backwards, and then you're like, but I did the formula. So you may or may not hit the mark. Or you so, hit some mark and it worked, but it's not what you thought you was <laughs> getting, and now you categorize and it. Then what it is. Yeah, and then also yeah, in a generation so. where the yeah, people, it, it, people it, it, who are listening yeah. don't know the history of it. You feel me? So it's a little different. You feel me? Like, but for someone who knows it, it's it, it, it sometimes it can get to a point where you're like, ah, uh, you didn't do that right. You feel me? Like, and Let's let's use an example of what was done right. Coco Jones. She did SWV. Murdered him. Murdered him. Murdered him. Then what else what else she do? When she when she went to the awards, she did her song. Then she brought them on, remixed the song with the original song. It's another version. But you bring out this right. So now you're yeah. rapping the old yeah. head yeah. and you're yeah. paying homage. That's what it's about because don't be let's Collaboration. Yeah. But let's not be let's not be in a genre of I'm inspired by you and then I'm not gonna tell you. Like that's that new that, that's that that stuff I can't get down with, bro. Like if I'm inspired by you and I, I'm in I'm like I'm intrigued, I, even if I it's like I inspired, from, bro. Like yeah. how I walked up like oh yo, Jack like, nice. you feel me? I didn't make it, so I shouted out the designer. Who's the designer? Like, oh, I'm like I know him. Like oh, yeah. you said you like this. I said someone else make it. I was like oh, right, I'm not gonna take credit. I for did it. it. I can't take credit for it. The thing is, when it comes to yeah. entertainment, everybody wants the name, and if this is what got you to know who I was. I did it. I <laughs> okay, okay, no, like, no, no, that ain't the way. I can understand that you could be original as fuck. And still, and still, all I did was hooks. Like Nate Dogg before he died. Nate Dogg was hook king. For you sure. Me? Just like Lil Wayne was remixing. Like you got, if you got yeah. Lil Wayne on it, your remix yeah. is going to play. You, you, listen, you know you made it when you had a Nate hook. And so, just you like never, you he back type of rap. had a uh, Dre B. Just like you knew you made it when, when you, you had all that shit. You said home right here. You made it. You say made it. Less. And Jay-Z not getting on everybody's stuff. Nobody. You feel me? Yeah. Like, like you had to really be doing something for the, to get a feature. You yeah. feel me? Jay-Z, Drake, uh, Cole, they don't even charge Cole, for it, bro. Kendrick? I just told Kendrick. my wife that. I literally they just told my wife. I literally and told my wife yesterday. To shout, out, to shout out for to, to Cole. Because he said, when people ask him for a verse, he said, I'm not going to, I don't want the money. You better just do what you want because I'm gonna kill your little song. So you better you better do your thing because I'm coming for heads. I, I don't want the bread. I'm coming for heads. It's about the it's about the crap. It's about his legacy. Yeah, it's about his legacy. And I was just watching somebody talk about uh, the first person shooter. And no, it was Cole. It was Cole. He was in an interview on it, yeah. and there the caption was like Cole tries to politely say he killed Drake. And he was like, yo, when it comes to that song, I just got to say that Drake did the bigger person thing where it didn't become about the competition, it can but it came about song. finishing the song, which is what I feel like he did. Yeah. And I was like, damn, 
And the dude who was interviewing him was like trying was to bait. You feel me? He was trying to get him to say. But this is what I loved about that first part of the shooter. He said like me and Drake. He no, he's Spider Man verse. Yeah, like Spider Man. Me thing. looking at Drake, yeah. and he said Spider Man. We the same. He the big three. The big three. Yeah, like Kendrick, them Cole, and, and they are the big three. Like, and so I had a project I was working on, like maybe two years ago. I'm, it's still in the works, but it was called uh, or, or it's called Last Out the Gate. So you know, in track. You know, everybody, you, you you get in your blocks and you out the blocks and, you, you know, you make it. Yeah. So I felt like on some Griselda shit, like, there was a generation that was left behind. So, like, I feel like I'm the last one out the gate. You feel me? Like, the last one out the blocks to to, to run, to start my laps. Hey, you, my, you feel me? You feel me? And, and it's not one out the block. Just, I hear you. You, you feel me? Like, it, it's not about the no, competition. It's just letting you know, like, like this, the era place. that I come from. Yeah. So when you compare, if because comparisons happen, you feel me. They do. But if you compare me, you feel me. You got like every time when people hear like, me, push you, it. you can't compare, you compare me T to these new niggas. Me. Yeah, no, it's, we're from a this different whole mindset was different, man. And so, matter of fact, the first poster when I had my own room. So I got like I, I'm from a big ass family. So I was like one of the last to get a room, my own shit. And so that was like the first post poster and CD that I put up was Lord Willing by the Clips. And I remember hearing that album. I bumped that shit so loud. I had a little CD. I had a, a boom box with the CD player. This was in CD. The actual boom box. The, like the, square, the, the square joint yeah, with the right speakers on. that you could take off and put in other places of your room. And I'm like, yeah, I'm listening to I'm listening to Lord Willing by the Clips. He said, no, 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 rapper, I'm not you. I'm not up here rapping and tapping. Spitting and skitting and shit. Silly. I'm not you, nigga. That, like when I heard that, when I heard that that th thing, that whole intro before they even rapped, rappers be talking to me as if we in the same boat. I tell them quick, no, I move coke, so you and I don't share no common bond. But that's so something else that's me. crazy, bro. You feel me? I was like, my uncle. Yeah. Like I said, if you're male in my family, you make music. You make music. Yeah. My uncle had his own label, was on it, you feel me? When probably like late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. And so those is the types of rappers he fucks with. Right. And so I just was like talking to him and I'm like, bro, this nigga has had the same career for 30 years. Man. You really think he's still pushing boats of coke? No. Why are you still rapping to me like he is? So that and this is and this is my um this is my dissonance or my like my pullback from him as of recent because we was listening to Kanye's album and Malice, which I don't think he goes by Malice anymore, and forgive me for not knowing what the new name is. But um he snapped. He snapped on Kanye album, bro, talking about God. And it was crazy, like they both snapped. And then, and it was crazy for me because when I listened to that album, I always liked Malice more. Like, I was like, he just seemed a little wiser. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he's the older brother, even though a lot of people think they're twins. Um, I was like, he just, it's something about him. But I always just lean towards, more towards the, like, knowledgeable rapper, the smart rapper, the the one who dropped the knowledge. Right. You got, you feel me? I don't really. Like, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. me. You feel me? And everybody got their stuff, you know. A lot of people, I don't dislike Pusher T. Let me first say and that. And I don't think he, he's it's a just, great rapper. He's just great. When it comes to putting words together. But elevation is everything. You feel and me? I mean, it's like, bro, like, I could listen to a verse of yours when I was 12. And I could listen to a verse of yours and when I'm 28. And you literally started. It might be different words. Yeah. You feel me? But the. I think like everybody has a, I know I do, I have an under, a under, a underscoring message. Like, my message is never give. Mine is, like, push towards the struggle. Mine is, like, um, make sure that God is in it. My, like, like no matter if I, I could be talking about dancing, I could be talking about, you know, we good? So, um, yeah, I could be talking about anything, but the message is, like, never give. It's, like, push, push forward through adversity. It's, like, you know, make sure God is in it. You know, represent the struggle. Um, it's very black power, if you will. You feel me? But not to the point of preaching it. You feel me? Because right. I've been through every aspect of it, and at the at the essence of it is like we all want people. Right. But those are my like my messages. So I'm gonna give you some of that somewhere in something. You feel me? Um, and I think that like when you have those 
dope rappers or uh, what do you call them? Like dope boy rappers. And I was, I was, the, my, my name is Trap. You feel me? Like, so yeah. I come from, I come from that. You feel me? I, hear you. I come from that. So it's not, it's not to say, man, we didn't did it. Right. We didn't did it, but it's, it's bigger than that. You feel right. Me? So you have to, uh, you have to let the people also know that. Yeah. It's bigger than that. And see, I think that's more of what my mind was, was like, bro, for people who don't understand, yeah. all they hear is the same drug talk. You feel me? And I understand you talk about like I went from bricks to this. Yeah. But every song is about bricks or coke or something for people who don't know how to digest lyricism. Yeah. All they hear is you talk about drugs every time and you so talk. So they out there go do that. Like, and I was just like, this is crazy because it's like I can't deny his pen. Yeah. But at the same time, all I hear is coke. <laughs> so where's the rest of the story? Yeah. Like, and so, yeah. but my uncle was just like, pushed dope, you feel me? And so it's like, yeah. this is the nigga who taught me even what I should do as a lyricist. So for you to say this is an epitome of a rapper's rapper, and I'm sitting here like, yo, but what's going on? I just had to, you know, I don't know. Just take yeah, it like, it, when I, like I, I, it was always lyricism for me. Like, um, until... What was it? To live and die in L.A. Uh, Brenda's had a baby. Like I wasn't a big Tupac fan. I hear you, bro. As like like went in the midst of it. right. Like, no, I, I was I was for sure a rock him. I was a uh, cool G rap. I was because you feel me? Was, like it was like the, it was slick. It was, it was too the, slick. Like, like no, the, you had to stop and be like, what just happened? It was slick. Yeah. And so for me, it was like that. And then when I got older and started realizing context, I was like, whoa, yeah. oh, this nigga snapping. Like, yeah, bro. Like, this is struggle music. You feel me? So, you know, but as a, as a four, five, six year old, it's like, yeah. Bro, even up to 10, 12. Yeah, like, like, like but, it, but then you got Juicy and you got, you know, Juicy. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 I understand the the diversity in music. Right. What I'm saying is, don't lose the diversity in music. And what the industry would would have happen is that everybody uh, is just out here. They don't care about, about the music, music man. man. It's, it's a like, bad trip. Let's, let's, let's drink to them not caring about. We like, have zero gluten free. We got the whole like, then y'all no wheat, no nothing, no sway, no fish. It's just a vibe. We gonna, we gonna just... zoom in to the one who brought us to it. But I want y'all to give us both from both sides. Like, why did you start as well, Chuck? Like, why did you start this this interview thing? You feel me? Like, why did you feel like you should get up close and personal with artists? And trap, you know, before we close out, why do you, what is there something that you could tell people as to being an artist, being young, being, you feel me? I won't even say black, I'll say being Native American because we indigenous over here. You feel me? Check out, you know what I'm saying? Get, get, get your nationality right. You feel me? That's another, that's, that's another interview at the time. But um, just oh. tap in and let us know as you guys are getting your stuff together. Don't You don't got to be perfect because, you know what I'm saying, life ain't perfect. Get yourself oh. together. Um, let us know why it is that you started doing interviews with artists. And I don't know if you do, you know, rap or just R and B or yeah, just black yeah. or just anything, but no, let no. us know why you started and then we'll tap in the trap and ask him, you know, what he has to say for artists like him. So I personally do a lot. It's like as you can see, I know how to work cameras. Yeah. Uh I engineer my own audio. I got the studio downstairs. That's do it. Oh, yeah. Modest setup, hey. but some of the best things. You feel me? So I started making music when I was 10. Okay. By the time I was 14, I was writing poetry and music daily, regularly. By the time I was 16, I was recording myself on my own laptop. By the time I was 18, I was acting and rapping. And then I didn't know what to do with my life. You right. Know? Graduated high school. And I was like, I'm going to go learn to be an actor. Right. And all I wanted to do was rap. But... I started getting involved with camera shit after that. Yeah. Nice. And so I was like, bro, we making music videos. Yeah. Yeah. And so okay. I went from wanting to do videos to yeah. taking photos. And in the midst, I had a cousin who was like, I'm turning all my cousins into models. Nice. But backtrack all the way to when I was like seven. My aunt was the head of the children's ministry at church. Let's go, church. She, wrote plays. church. she ran the choir. Let's go. I lived with her. Shout out. Write it in. Amen. And then work it in. And then work it And so, 
once I just started, you know, getting older, like right. by the time I was 20, 21, I would have people in school like, oh, you make music? I want to make music. And yeah. I'm like, they, where do you record? And I'm like, I don't even, I don't. I'm like, I'm it's all good. So I can take care of this out. And so I started actually going to studios, trying yeah. to get this, trying to get that, whatever. And I didn't ask a lot of questions. I'm of the mindset, what do I need to do? And then figure it out. And then figure out how to get it done. Yeah. Let's, so, not, let's, let's not do too much. I'm in let's college. Not yeah. Let's go. I used my money, my student loan that was supposed to go for. Country, I invested. You invested in yourself. Is what Bruh, it's like. He flipped that. I just want a little bit of weed. Yeah. Hey, I got some people if you want something. Hey, and so, but even after that, I was like, turned seven bins. And it wasn't shit. I was like, bro, you yeah, got to keep paying niggas for this shit, bro. <laughs> That's and so fun. it took me a year and a half to get nice with the computer. Another two years. You are really um, showing the world that you have a One lot band. to give. One well, band, one sound. You feel me? Um, that you have a lot to give. So people are on this live and they're tapping in. They're loving on you guys. But there's a lot of people that I can see that do music. They're in the industry. They're trying to get in the industry. Um, and even if you don't even know, it's giving. Try it. Believe in yourself and do it. Do it or don't do it at and all. And just start. Yeah. Do it or don't do it at all. And just start wherever you're at. You never know where you never know where you're gonna be. Sorry, but please. this is just the moment. Last week. I was, I was, bro, I don't know who did I start with. I think it was Wayne. Well, uh -huh. Wayne's blow up story, right? Yeah. Why was this Nick recording, bro? We already know. If you've seen any of his, like, studio, like, impromptu. Shit. That's my nigga. My man was. I don't even know cuz. That's my nigga. Look, the for my people who know what I'm talking about, he had a Rode NA1 USB format. In a hotel. I'm following this floor right now. No so I the sound protection. If I'm no on the camera, I'm following this floor. Like, and create no best shit that you need. Don't talk to me, bro. You feel nothing, bro. Talk to me now. It was a microphone on a mic stand. It cost about. If you want to buy that blow Don't talk day, about it. Don't talk about it. Don't say it. If you pay more than 100 to about. fight the person you sold it to. Bear two. A U.S. bear microphone. A U.S.B. mic, bro. I was like, this shit is... This is the Carter three. Are you buying... It's time. One of the best albums of, 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 of time, time. Of, of, of hip hop history. Let's start there. Like, and he recorded it on a hundred dollar microphone in a hotel room with zero dollars worth of sound treatment. Exactly. And so what is to, to further that? Go ahead. To further that. Yep. Shout out to my man T Pain, who also did the same thing. Was All the those, Kendrick? the whole project. The whole yeah. first nappy boat boy Child just it Same was thing. it was at his and house. And a borrowed boy Nick. At the home Same studio. Thing. Shout out to Nick. Shout out to my boy Nick. And they did it from the house. Oh, 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 all the songs that everybody home. was. Cuz had money for a hotel. He got a motel to do it. He's like. He got the mosey woe. He got the mosey woe. He got the mosey type shit. You feel me? Nah, I believe it. And so it's not about. It's not about like it's about uh, belief system yeah, from from not, me listening to y'all. It's like y'all you guys are believing yourselves. You guys are two different ways in the industry, right? Yeah. He has the the mass marketing, the media. You are the other side of the camera, whatever that is, singing, acting, dancing. But he's but both of those. As the conversation has gone on for two hours, the conversation says if you don't believe in yourself, that's where you fucked up. At. You already started. That's where you fucked up. Started wrong. So the first step is not get a good camera, get a good lighting, no. get a good team. The first step is to start. The first step is to start. Start and believe so in yourself said, enough that you gonna you gonna get to wherever the fuck you want to get to. But the vision and the thought is there, and if it's not there, you can't sit on the couch never, right here with Chuck Diesel and Saki Sundays and MT Track. You feel me? You can't do it if you don't do that. Said last week we had a model, mm -hmm. and dude said he just wanted to a take pictures of his outfits. outfits. He was in high school, and his homie got a good camera, mm -hmm. and they started doing photo shoots like plant them, just because. I look drip. You got a camera. And Say that. The shoot. And let's do it. Let's do it. Further step than something and let's do it. Take to start being a model. Straight up. Plant a shoot, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and take nothing to plant a shoot. shoot. Because your creative direction is what your creative direction is. It doesn't mean that get somebody to paint the pictures. Bro, oh, bro, just be to show up and show out to start. And we forget this. This is the same. I feel like my person. I feel like this is the same exact way that you do anything. You don't have to be behind the camera to start this. If you're a writer, if you're a journalist, 
If you're, if you yeah, do anything, it doesn't have to do with just, just for me, media. Talking to media. Yeah, it doesn't have to no, do with podcast no, moments no. or being if on you TV. Write a book, if you want to exactly, you want to be an illustrator and you just draw, do your shit. It just takes a moment of really believing in yourself, honing on that shit, and fuck everybody else until they believe in you. And see, that's this what, is what I is. think a big part of the problem is nowadays is people taking the time to do something because they haven't done it before. So I'm scared. It's like, exactly. No, done it. What I've do never do? done it. What well, pieces do I need? And if I tell somebody, oh, now it's super what are they going to say? Yeah. Or not even what if I tell them? What if I do write it and they see it? And I show it to them. Yeah. Not even they see it. I show it to them and they don't like it. Well, the, of course. Like, what do I do it. when they don't like it? What you do? What you don't like it? That, that that's a, that's a good question. Because like, what what you do when they don't like it is you say that's good for you, but it's not good for me. And then you that's good for you. You don't you, you don't like my opinion. That's cool. Sometimes you take sometimes cool. you take the criticism. You know how many stars I made. Let where me I tell you. You know why you should you should take running. the criticism. Sometimes no, you should too. If sometimes if you if you, <laughs> if you if you respect the editor, let's make that clear. If you respect the editor, like if I see Snoop Dogg, I will respect Cuz. But if I see like a crackhead who's like, I hate your shoes. I'm not going to I'm not going to take my shoes off for Keisha on the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you feel me? So you got, they're listening, so I'm saying because y'all, you guys are giving, you guys are giving super fire bars for people who are very much in the industry and they're already there. But there's some people who are just starting with the pencil, yeah. with the paper, with the idea, and so, the and so they need to get that same fire in their discern, in their belly that but says, sometimes hey, the crackhead. Is might be the one. Yeah, he might because, be the one. Um, when it comes to music, I'm gonna say music and writing. Sometimes, right? It's like you might write something as like a poet or a book writer or a storyteller, uh -huh. and it doesn't tell the part of the story you were going for. It doesn't right? translate how you wanted to. But the person receiving it got it all. Is exactly what they needed. Got it all. And then other times, it's the vice versa, where they're kind of missing it. But it makes sense to you because right. you because you're so in love with your story. Yeah, you're, you're so in love with your vision. You've seen all the exactly. stories. Exactly. You're so like, when it comes yes. to telling it, you don't need to tell them how it started. So started, what you're started. telling the people is you need to find a balance. You gotta find the balance. I need to find. He had a friend who was over here who made music, uh, dropped out, couldn't, she didn't. I won't say couldn't, didn't want to learn to handle the pressure because she blew up for what it's worth, like. It's six months, eight months. Like right. people calling her, come to this event. Like, right. Want to see her? She walk in the room, and ten people are taking pictures of her and shit. And she's like, "Bro, I just started doing this. Like, I'm just a person. Like, right. and got overwhelmed. I showed her a video. I didn't show her. I showed him. Yeah. He was like, "Yo, dude, what's up? Oh, I just dropped the music video. For real, play it. Ends, and she just starts telling me about everything that's happened negatively in her side of her career. Mm -hmm. And so fast forward to me and him just like, yo, it was cool me and her do do do. I don't feel like you were taking into consideration what she had to say. All she told me was her music career wasn't what she wanted and it was a whole lot and overbearing. Like, you asked to watch my music video, bro. None of that had nothing to do Not with this music end. video. Not an end. Not and he an was end. like, well, you could be receptive. Da, da, da. And I was like, look, bro, I've been doing this for so long. Every person I meet and show something tells me what I can do, what I should do, or how I should do. Right. The next thing he said, well, bro, if I were you, and I let him finish, and then I was just like, listen, I'm telling you that people are always giving suggestions, right? and you just said, if you were me, which is another suggestion. suggestion. For sure. So that's all I got to say on this. Yeah. You're not wrong, that's but everybody's point. always giving feedback. Right. I got to be ready for it when I want it, and that's when I'm open. And, and when I'm sitting here showing somebody something that already dropped... You either like it or you don't. Don't tell me what to do different because it's too late. It's out. It's in the world. So now, now that you say it, you do or don't, now we can use that information to figure out what to be next. next time. But we're not going to talk about what don't work. <laughs> we're going to keep it pushing. Yeah. And that's the problem is learning how to take away want to. what works, what oh, doesn't, it. apply it, and keep moving. What because sometimes it's just, oh, they don't should be this. Keys. What should I do? Oh, they didn't like any of that. Maybe I should give up. Or but that. also, we, we 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 forget sometimes that's not your audience. That part. So if you don't like like, especially if you're doing what's what my boy Joe Joe Biden say, like, love some. Let's start. There. No, a lot of times, man, people oh. don't. They're not your audience, and that's also and that's okay. okay. Like just because you grew up in the same area, or their family, or their friends. They may not be your demographic. There's some yeah. there's some CNAs that wake up and they say, you know what? On my way to work before I go save these lives, I'm a fucking drug dealer. 
And I'm trapping out the band. True story. I and got, and I that's got that's got and names who, you feel me? Who and that's cool for them. You feel me? And then you may have a love song, and it might be the thug that just broke up with, you know, baby mama for the 15th time this it's week. It's giving and that's not joint, you feel right? scientists. So you know, sometimes it's giving you just, shout out to Wyatt Stella. I hope you have to find Rico. your audience <laughs> and then tune in to them and then give them you and see if they mess with that. And then some people may come, but that's the beauty of collaboration. Because if you collaborate with other people, then you get some of their fans, they get some of your fans, they mm -hmm. get some of their knowledge, they get some of your mm -hmm. knowledge. And everything just keeps it's moving. It's a barter system. It's a barter system with whatever it is, whether it's modeling. Because if you're a model, you're not probably a designer. And if you're, you can't model nothing if you, if you asshole naked. No. Let's just say that. Yes. And then, and, and you feel me? And then if you're a designer and you're not a model, then now you have to find somebody for to that. Put the product you on. feel me? If you're, if you're a scientist and you don't, you don't have a lab. You guys don't even we'll understand how much you guys are tapping into Having the ability to be a leader, create a team, delegate, and believe in yourself enough to fuck these niggas when they say no. That's pretty much what it gave to me. It gave, believe in yourself, delegate what you can't do great. Because sometimes you, like, you write music, but that don't mean you do videos great. Or you, you, you out here doing interviews, and you got the line, you got, you, it's giving a vibe in here. You feel me? But that don't mean you do your 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 reservations for planes and flights great. You feel me? You might not travel on time. You feel me? Right, you now ready? you might yeah, you to, might you might have all that shit, but yeah, I might have yeah. two extra three hours to pay to other people because you didn't arrive late because you didn't get Delta. You feel okay. me? Like, but even though it's not a bad thing, it's like you guys are ex Everybody you're letting these people know that there's a part to play. So if you're able to understand what your leadership is, aka your gift, and then delegate what's not your gift, create a team and stop playing. Yeah. And stop playing. Stop trying to do the shit by yourself. These, these 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 kings right here, they didn't do it by themselves. Shout out to the guys right now. We got Chuck Diesel on the building yeah. on Saki Sundays. We got FTD trapped for no reason, but for a reason. Before it's over, it's 2023. We got about 15 days left or more or less. We don't know. I ain't counting. Right. But listen, this is one of the only times y'all catching together before you got to pay double time. This is the free moment you get. Double tap, replay, send it to your friends because next time it's going to be $55 plus tax. You know? Know. We charge. Ain't no problem. Yeah, yeah. Like high level oh, the price, the price, And the price is different than what you thought it was. You know what I'm saying? Today's price and yesterday's price. You feel me? If you saw today, you know what I'm saying? Add tax tomorrow. Holla at the big. Oh, we have been doing this for an hour and a half. I got like two, three questions. Yeah. I want to get out. Yeah, please. And I had to answer a lot because you have like three different lives. <laughs> I had to give him a close out. I was like, we don't three different times. Because when you have an hour, they just ex you out. It's like, oh, for that real? was rude. Yeah, if you don't pay. Oh. But I still got BTS. Go ahead. This just came to my mind because, you know, it's holiday time. You feel me? What do you feel about the holidays? Okay. Be well, because um, me and my wife have a blended family. Uh, she was raised Christian. I was raised Muslim. We don't, um, we don't subscribe to the textbook version of pretty much any holiday. Yeah. What we do subscribe to is the essence of the holiday. So like yesterday, we went to uh, her home church growing up, Zoe Christian Fellowship Church, and we had a, a grand old time. We, you know, we played some games. We talked to the people that we were ministered to. We ministered to some people. We're both uh, street ministers, by the way. Um, and and so, like, for the holidays for me, let's just say we're, we're at Christmas, it is uh, very important to be thankful, to recognize that the higher power, you know, the the God, you know, the universe, whatever you call it, I don't want to get into semantics about mm -hmm. it, but, you know, the higher power is definitely uh, moving, and we've been granted gifts. So, like, this is a season of, like, gift giving. And the biggest gift that we have is, first of all, life. Mm -hmm. um acknowledgement of that um able to be around people and and give our gifts to the world and receive gifts from the world like you inviting me to do this was a gift you feel me me showing up was a gift. I was gonna say you said you, you feel me it. like all of this all of these are, are are moments that we need to take in and be appreciative of because for lack of a better better way to say it it was a, a billion other sperms that could have been you and could have been me and everything. Let's just start there. Watching. And you made it through. You swam. You're the one. You feel and me? You now that, now that you already made it through insurmountable 
ways of being. All the bigger ones that were everywhere. Might as well be happy. First off, be happy. Second off, go hard. Okay, let's go. Yeah, you made it this far, man. So I try to make sure that my family know that, and that you know, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not gonna let nothing happen to my family. Yeah, I'm not Are really what you make it like a relationship, like a uh, a friendship, like a marriage, and is is really what you make it. And so, I don't take on what the world wants it to be so much as more as what did you make it into. Yeah, yeah. No, and I just asked this because uh, I was raised Christian, mm -hmm. and as I got older, I just asked a lot of questions. They said, I'm, yep. I'm a bit of a nerd. Yeah. You, know, mm -hmm. you read stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, like, the truth presents itself. I used yeah. to read the dictionary. Oh. And, and the thesaurus. And the thesaurus. And the thesaurus. And the thesaurus. Like, you read a word in a sentence. Yeah. But you know. It's like the, the connotation. Yeah. The connotation is saying something else. You like. Let me make sure this makes sense. What they said to say is my name. So you fucking different words and you ask right. questions. Right. So as I did that, I just was like, these don't make sense. Yeah, a lot of stuff don't make sense. And so personally, it's not to say I celebrate or don't celebrate in any certain way. Right. But whenever it's brought up, I just bring out certain questions to people. Yeah. I love and that. Like, somebody was like, don't be a miser. And I was like... I'm not. I'm, I'm not being a real, real, bro. I'm a realist, and I'm being inquisitive about what this is. And and and, and a lot of times, because what is the same thing? The person who brought that miser situation. Do you even know why I'm saying this? Okay. It's like you feel me. It's like I'm not is, trying this, to. This becomes a whole thing. Holiday at all. But I'm sitting here with this thought, and you telling me to celebrate something that's so asinine, bro. Yeah. Why? The word. It's, it's so it's on point. It's, it's absolutely perfect. perfect. It's like, I was saying because you're out of this world. So that saying. because of because of my our ours, we we went through that for so many years yeah. that now we just had to realize like make it what it's supposed to be for you. Yeah. Because I don't I like like you said I'm not gonna be a miser. No, I'm not trying to tell you. I know what that. it is. You feel me? But but now but now what I'm gonna do is if that's what it is to you, power to it. Like. I'm big on like the Panthers, like a lot of stuff. So, power to the people. You feel me? If that's yeah. what brings you your joy and your power, do that. power to that. You feel do me? That. Like, go off and do it abundantly. You feel me? You feel and me? for me, I know in my heart and in my, you know, that it doesn't resonate. That it don't. That don't resonate. <laughs> but that doesn't make me less than what you're doing. It doesn't make me bigger than what you're doing. Right. It just makes us have two different things. But guess what? We get yeah. hit. Absolutely I'm not. not. Rap. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, do a couple of them, <laughs> but no, nah, for real. So that's that's just how I feel on on the holidays. No, oh, yeah, it's like I, the more I also think about it, I just tell people, I'm like, bro, I'm thankful every day. Every day, I'm happy. This is the day the Lord has made. You yeah, know every day. Let's keep rejoicing, God, and keep. Why listening. are we choosing this month? Right. It's like January turned up. Where did drinks at? It's like, oh, we're thankful on Thanksgiving. Nah, so no. other days were so upset. I'm thankful that I woke up today. <laughs> today, like just just on Tuesday. Every day is my Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. Every day. So as as I've gotten older, it's just like when people say, "Oh, happy Thanksgiving," and I'm like, "Every day is Thanksgiving." Yeah, yeah man, right, that's my grandma. I say happy holidays. Soon as like because I because for for me like I'm you know my 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 thought process now. As much as I love people, I I dislike people almost as much. So it's very it's very fifty fifty, and so for for my own sanity, somebody will say, because you say Happy Thanksgiving, and then they could go into a whole back and forth About because I'm, that's not I'm low key willing to go there, but then like, bro, we could do this. Yes, I'm just like, 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 I'm just But we still got it on the map. Man. I graduated high school like 10 years ago. Man. Why is it still on the map? Niggas is still getting out of school for it. If 10 years ago was acknowledged as a lie, that means they knew it was a lie 10 years before that, at least. Man. 
it's so many lies right now that's still being perpetrated in in the in the in the biggest scheme of the world. So let, let's let's take a shot to the lies that's being perpetrated first. Shout out, and the shout reason we're taking a shot to the lies is because if you know their lies, then you know what the truth the is. The history books are lying. That's what Michael, Michael Jackson said. Michael Jackson said the history books are lying about twenty years ago. And shout out to Mike for saying that. I mean, what book was he talking about? All of them. Part of it. All of them. First off, uh, Merrill. What was it? Maryland. It's a Marissa? No. Street? It's M E R R I L M. So oh, all, the, the actual school books were made by the, a guy who was. I ain't trying to get nobody killed, bro. Like, bro, and that's, I'm not going to lie. I was like, like we like, talk a like, lot for this big really, podcast. I'm like, y'all don't have to change y'all name without right. reporting. Yeah, no, nah, we can talk about the key parts of it. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. That happened with the last one. She was like, "Can I hit this?" And she got up and turned. I was like, "This is yeah. like, we got that. I was like, "We can just talk now." No, the people who made the um, the main the main school books that are issued in, in in the United States was um. Damn, bro! Like I can't really. You can't express. I can't really it. express it. Bro, it's just, it's, say, it's cool if you say it. It's not coming back to my parents. So, so, I'm so, like, so the dude who made the school bucks was a Mossad agent. Like the whole shit that's going on with Israel and Pat, like everything connected. Yeah. But the the what? nigga the nigga who made let me take the glasses. Yeah. The nigga who made yeah, I'm the, just even stop the spell. So he's not so? people like they get so caught up and so like in. I don't. I don't think I think of the word I want to say. They get, I guess they get so wrapped up in their matrix. belief of stuff, and they stand by it so yeah. hard that it's a part of them. Yeah. They find their identity in what they believe to so be So belief truth. and truth is different. And so once you start questioning your belief in truth, yeah. they feel like you're taking their identity because right. they identify with the truth what of they, what they believe. Exactly. So you tell me this is a lie. You're telling me that my whole childhood was a lie. But that's also okay. It's okay to be like, my if you want to protect your childhood. Fuck my childhood. <laughs> it's not like, I can't, be I can't go back. <laughs> Fuck my childhood if it was false. You feel me? Like, listen. But that's the thing most people are uncomfortable with saying. And that's and that's the thing about a, a my about childhood a, made me the person you have before you. And if you say fuck my childhood, that means fuck the person you have before you, which means I'm not good enough. Not to me. I feel like the discernment that I have now, if anything... Right now, today, being the age I am today, if anything is not working for me and you show me a better way, that part is gone. No, I hear you. Because I need to be better. Like the only thing that you're striving for is perfection. Like if you're in, if, like in the in the in the Fibonacci sequence, in the form of the universe, in the seed of life, it's striving each time. It's never perfect, but every time it's closer to perfection. Every every spiral is closer to perfection. So if you never do that, then how the fuck are you gonna be? The seed of life. How are you going to get to to God if you're not searching for just a little bit better every day? A little bit better. And, don't, and, and never said, even even in the fabric of existence, the seed of life, Fibonacci secrets, the whole shit, it never said be perfect, but get a little better every day. Just a little better. You can do that. Some shit you can do, some shit you can't do, some shit you will do, some shit you won't do. That's life. Yeah. But if you just do those little things that you can do It'll to make, make yourself a little bit better... If you look back over 10 years, you'll be so far from that person you were 10 years ago that wouldn't exist. And that's why I said for me, that person that was, if I go back 10 years, I was in the feds. I was locked up facing life. I was never thought about, you know what I'm saying, having a wife and children. I was thinking about selling a million drugs. I was a college dropout. I was a, you know, a bad guy. Yeah. I was a bad guy. You feel me? In the sense of it. I'm so far removed from that. If, when people bring up my my actual record, I'd be like, I, I actually forgot. <laughs> like I, I forgot that was me. But like, oh, yeah, I did. Do. I did do all that shit. You feel me? Because I'm so removed from that. No, yeah. That don't mean I don't still got it with me. Like, that's, that's just not me no more. Yeah, and you don't have to. You feel me? That. Like you don't have to defend that. Just is what it is. You don't have to that's... justify those actions because you're like, damn, I did. I did. Right. But that's not me. That's yeah. So that's the growth from it. And so it, it's a it's a beautiful thing when people are willing to step into greatness. You feel me? Yeah. Like a lot of people are so stuck on, and 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 myself included. Like you can get stuck on anything, mm -hmm. but if you if you don't break past that barrier, then you're gonna be stuck. Well, you just said something nice, bro. You said it's a beautiful thing when people step into greatness. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, 
And that's just because you can see someone who's doing... When somebody steps into greatness, a lot of the time, you're doing what you're supposed to or what you're good at or what you're... You feel me? Both. Your calling is. Yeah. And so it's like... I was talking with the last person I had on, the last guest, just about watching people who are good at their craft. Yeah. Like, whether it's the person who makes the shaved ice. You feel know I me? Mean? It's, it's a art. And, and they got a swag on it. Yeah. You be like this, nigga. <laughs> this is cool. Why? What is going oh, on? But it's nice to see that yeah. level of craftsmanship and perfection. And perfection. Yeah. It's like you did this and you didn't just do it by rope. You didn't do it to get it done. You found enjoyment. You did it different. And you got do good. Do what you would do for free and then learn how to charge for it. No, yeah. That's so just, that's just it's the beautiful thing to see someone step into greatness. Yeah. It's like, it is. Oh, Even if it's woodwork, bro. And especially, shit, Jesus was a carpenter. You feel me? Like, you feel me? Like, everything is art. Like, like, that's why she was saying, like, be... You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to be the cameraman. You don't have to be the director. If you book For this flights, to apply. Yeah. No, yes. If you book flights, bitch, if you make plates, if you make the best mac and cheese, if you if you if the same trick that make the best pies and the one that make the best mac and cheese, and y'all get together, now y'all boom. You feel me? Like, that's How did you start your mac and cheese? What do you yeah. like? How did you start your business? How did you start your business? Large animal or small? Oh, there's so many questions. How many cheeses do you have? I mean, both have started, and then I realize that the song. People don't even know. So it's like, yeah. people, I think people don't realize, they think that their gift is, has to be a Tyler Perry or Oprah Winfrey. Even or, them, it's some people get it. Kardashian. Both of them still It's because you but don't understand you how to get to that But you forget that, like, level. the step is way back in the day from one plus two to one, one no, plus two. No, I was just about to say. It's, it start right, right then and there. Like, it's the saying that I love, and it's crazy. I actually think about about it all the time now because I like, I had a co-worker bruh who was like nigga that shit corny as fuck and I was just like damn wait bro. wait what, what was corny the same what was your saying a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step and this nigga said bro that's that's really what you well, said that's a, that's a great that's a great no but that's a great example of people who will find a problem with every fucking solution you came up with a solution for your brand. That was the name of it. You said, this going to be it. And some random ass person, whether they were a friend, foe, a classmate, a family member, Astrobot. they told you why you shouldn't. It's stupid. That's exactly what you're giving these people right now. No, why? Because people going to walk up to you and tell you, why, why should, why? Like, I cut my hair, I grew my hair, I grew up. Now, at this moment, I got short hair and a lot. They're like, you shouldn't cut your hair. You shouldn't grow locks. Keep your long hair. Nobody had a reason why I should keep my long hair. It's like, what? Well, then you have your short hair. They're like, we love it. Do what the fuck your soul calls to do and fuck everybody that says don't do it. It's not that they're being mean. It's you're only operating in the intelligence that you have. No, I'm Therefore, for true. you can only, tell, you can only talk to me on, are you fearful? So you speak in fear to me. Are you faithful? So then you speak in faithful to me. Are you loving? Then you speak loving to me. Everything else is like, gee, why would you believe the naysayers? No. That's really what it is. It's like, don't believe them, but believe you. I don't, I'm not going to lie. In that moment, because I was showing this to homie, you know what I mean? And this and this is and this is why I said you have to find your audience. Exactly. Because a lot of times, like, and I'm I'm still in the process of that. I have people in my life that's near and dear to me. You feel me? And I had to cut them off because like you're not you're not willing to push me towards greatness. You yeah. feel me? You cool with me being you you're comfortable. You think this is me. okay? At the level that I'm at. And I don't I'm, like I'm not at the level that I want to be at. Yeah. So until I can do that, now this is the same I have. And I, it, it, it just so happened that when I said it, the people that were around me was like, bro, that's so hard. Um, I said, it's hard to fly when you're carrying all that weight. No, yeah. Like the baggage of your life, if you don't let it go, you can't fly. No, yeah. So, and we all gain baggage. Like our childhood bro, wasn't the best, you feel me? Like, is, and then, and then, and this is what I say to a lot of my friends that are not black, you feel me? Like, y'all had a leg up, you feel me? So the best thing that y'all could do for us is give us opportunities, give us them same doors that y'all have that y'all look down on. Don't try to come down to our level, you feel me? Bring us up to the opportunities that y'all have so that we can all be collaborators in the aspect of you you open the door for me, right? So now you're in the building with me. Like, because there's certain buildings I can't get in. I got I got some cold white hands. I got some cold white frames, you feel me? 
And they'd be putting me in places I would have never been able to walk into. Like me being who I am, I have a brother-in-law. My, 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 my wife's brother is a cop. I never liked cops. I just, just not. I'm, no, I hear you. This is not a dog. Oh, Chris is a cop now, no, dog. This is not a dog. You feel me? Like, this is my guy. You changed my life. Like, oh, is there a uh, bathroom? Yeah, right here. So for so for me, it's like the opera, like like the the way that we were, the way that humans usually think is is so sheltered. You feel me? And until we start stepping outside of what we're comfortable in, because success is not going to be in your comfort zone. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah. And that's where the success is. Yeah. Like everything that you want is on the other side of what fear. You, you feel me? What like you once you take the jump. Once you take that leap of faith, then you can fly. You feel me? Like the birds, they get pushed out the nest. Some of them going to die, but usually the ones that die, they never even tried to fly. Right. You were so scared you that you didn't fly. try, yeah. that you just failed. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So that's, that's why I said like the same time when, when I when I first started rapping, when I got pushed in the cypher and niggas started eating me up and they reminded me like, yeah. you're falling, you're falling, <laughs> you better, but I know you can fly. <laughs> you better. Yeah. So it's a, you know, that was my moment. You feel yeah. me? Some people get their moment and whatever it is, it was like, oh, I tried this new recipe. Boom. And it worked. Yeah. Whatever it is that worked for you, keep, keep recycling that. You feel oh, me? Yeah. Whatever work, work. And whatever don't, don't. See. But don't keep doing the shit that don't think it is going. Yeah. You feel me? Like. No, 100%. And then, and then the other thing is, Nobody's journey is gonna look the same. You yeah, feel me? The comparison and everybody. Be, like I just said in one of my uh, one of my raps recently, like that can tell the critics that comparisons lead them mm -hmm. because a lot of times they'll compare you to somebody else, and it could be good or like to them it could be a compliment. Like so when niggas was comparing me to Kendrick, like oh yeah, you sound like such and such, or you rap like normally it's, it's cold. I get cold like JID. Certain people now like I, I get a lot of that, but I be like. I'm I'm just me, you feel right. me? Like I have influences, right. but like my story is different than right. I'm not trying to I'm be, not trying to be none of them. You feel me? Like so it's just really it's really imperative that we take the journey of life, you feel me? Like all right, I, and there's another thing. Have you ever heard that oh. that huh? Saki's at Saki Sunday. Um everybody right now is a form, like we're all one uh, everything. We're all me oh, and her, so me and you, we're all earlier, people. You said my band left out, and I was Straight just up. thinking of this right here. I thought about this like three, four years ago. It was probably like four or five o'clock in the morning, bro. And I looked at the word universe. One soul. One, exactly. It was, what, I said, what's the definition of universe? Verse. And I started Googling, bro. And it's not because I didn't know what I was looking at, but it was like, let me, let me get this word. I said, uni. One. Unity is a division, a set of one. Yeah, it's one. Yeah. And I said verse. Same as mine. Like song. Is meter, rhythm, song, having to do with music. And I was like, bro, ain't that about a bitch. Well, and you know who broke it down to me first? Was uh, Dr. Wayne Dwyer. Rest in peace. Um, around the time, right before when I was um, courting my wife, I did a... Like that was the nine years ago. That was the beginning of my soul searching because exactly. I was like, doing, that's when I started doing the like music um it's crazy because like the the less i put like the intellect in the music i put it into myself and like i did a rebranding of myself and like soul searching and all of that shit you feel me because i'm we're complex dig deeper and see oh, it's like, it's like stuff that. like that though. i would love to do it like that's where my mom is personally yeah. with the conversations yeah. I'm like, I don't know how we to put that shit right now else. I just I don't yeah. know from yeah. 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 And I was like, I'm like, yeah. 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 Yeah
So we, it's like 300 people in that group. So the first thing we get the tickets is us. The first we get the conversation is us. Like even how this is about to mark on into something else, that doesn't mean that um, your audience who's listening now doesn't deserve what you had before. You have a separate audience for the dig deeper. No, yeah. So now we got the, you feel me, before dark. Right, right. And then we got the after, after dark. Okay. You feel me? For the for the deeper thinkers. Yeah, because we don't want to take we don't want to take nobody out. You feel me? We no, don't want to. No, you know what I'm saying? There's so many yeah, levels of skin. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's definitely a, it's, it's it's definitely you know give everybody what they want. See, but if you're like a deeper thinker, work. you yeah, definitely um, got to tap into the the after hour spot where it's it come on at twelve to right. one. You feel me? For those of us who still up, still thinking, because we're still excited about our dream. We we can't sleep. I can't sleep. And this and was I, another thing. I can't sleep I, on my drink. I go like, to sleep and I'm like, hey, I was blessed enough. I'm trying to sleep, but I can't because I'm like, oh, what am I doing? Another nerve. You feel me? Like, we tell our kids, you feel me? Like, your quirk, like, our kids are the same way. Like, we got two boys. Like, we, we're, like, it's the same shit that people shun me for is what makes me so dope. No, yeah. The same thing, like like the the drug selling, the the, the never did no gang. Like that's another thing. Like I I come from a family of like gang members. You feel me? One way or another. Like there's only two boys that didn't do the gang things and were pretty much the most successful. Not saying nobody's not. Right. right you feel right. me? Like we never did that. And then or or the like for me to sell drugs as long as I did the one brother, the one brother that never sold drugs is absolutely the most successful, hands down, bar none, most successful. As as of this point, and then so like I, I look at it like the, the same shit you was calling me corny for is what, what why are you saying I'm so dope man? No, nah, like you're always yeah. reading these comics, you're always watching this anime, <laughs> you're always doing this, you're always in a book, you're no, always yeah. researching something. That's why I can regurgitate right this or that, and that's why oh, I'm God. able to learn shit now because I learned how to digest information. <laughs> That journey of a million steps starts with one step was corny. No, you're, you're not my audience, and, and that's it's also cool. And it's like in the moment that don't make and the longevity right. is two different things. You yeah, know? because in the moment it's like I just showed my homie something, my heart, and then turn it down. My soul, and instead, instead of my soul. Nigga, this, if you was gonna do the thing that Instagram do, I could have left that shit online. Like, yeah. yeah. So in the moment, I was just like, turn this shit somewhere else, right? It's just still hard, but damn. Yeah. But then once I actually thought about it, I was just like, nigga, I know this is a dope this quote. Is. Like, stop calling me. Clearly it's a dope quote if I read it in somebody else's book. Like, there you go. Right, 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 right. Right. Well, bro, you started it and I already knew where, where you was at. That just lets you know it just wasn't your audience. And so I was just like, man, uh, I'm not about to change this shit. Because it was like an What did like the scripture say? Don't cash your pearls amongst swine. Don't do that. Yeah. You're not and nigga. You I can, and if I are put, so if I put, to do it. It's like, oh, give your all to the people who aren't worth it. As the hood say, yeah. nigga, don't put a wig chances. on a pig. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And we never utilize in that same word, whether you're using the Quran, whether you're using the, the Bible, whether you're using what the Honey Christians book, like Bible, whoever you whatever using, whatever the monks, whoever you're using, it also says you that one, you are given the authority to teach, to preach, to cast out demons and to go ahead and set these people into the nation. Yeah. Don't act like you whack. Just stop talking to whack people about a fire ass yeah. vision. Don't talk like, to small minds. Yeah. Like just, your vision's on fire. And I, of course you want to share it because you've been there with them. It's like, I want to share it, but also what's forgotten, they don't want to know. Well, you know that's the secret part. They don't want to know about your vision. I, yes. Uh, Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, what, 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 what day? What day? My, my, I'm Aquarius rising. This is my mom. What day? Uh, the 16th. Oh, okay. Well, you're in there. You're so in there. Air sign. Big, big visionary. Big dreamer. Oh, yeah. Big hope. Humanitarian. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, especially because there's, there's a, and this is also, this is for your after hours. There's, there's two different signs of every sign. No, yeah. That's a low vibrational and a high vibrational. Yeah. Every sign, no matter what. And so that's a whole other conversation in itself that what you just spoke of and what I feel is the high vibrational Aquarius because I know the low vibrational Aquarius. Oh, look. What you represent is the that's high so vibrational. Very... Yeah, yeah. yeah. That what you represent is the high crazy. vibrational versus because... birthday is a couple days. I guess this is like the fourth. So like 12 days before my Okay. Birthday. This nigga's first name is the same. Oh, the wow. same age. We both got Oh, blocks. wow. Oh wow! So I was couldn't, couldn't be first. I said, bro, twin or not? Ever. Don't ever. The nigga ever heard that shit, nigga. Yesterday, yeah, to this because it wasn't even logical. Yeah. First off, like, right, wrong. Let's just start right, here. Polite, whatever. I don't care what happened. Yeah. The shit that I did witness, the words he said. Yeah. 
I watched everything that happened for 10 minutes and it was illogical. This shit was... <laughs> It was asinine. I'm I'm like, where is like, me thinking logical first off? That nigga's not like me. We not the same. Yeah. Yeah. Low vibrational sign. Yeah. 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 So yeah, so you gotta always represent when we speak signs and I'm and I and I'm a I'm a sign astrologist speaker. Yeah. Like outside of your rising and sun and your moon, there's a low vibrational and high vibrational version of each thing. Meaning it's your worst self and your best self against each other. It's not saying that that person is bad, but like when you speak of like who you are today. And people are like, oh, yeah, I'm also an Aquarius. But, like, you could be like, oh, that was me when I was 15. Oh, you were you when I was 18. The whole time, you might be 19. But you got a whole 30-year-old mind because you vibrated and elevated so oh, fast yeah. that you can't even communicate with the people same who people who are your age. And they're saying, right, and now you're saying supposedly. something. Yeah, That's supposedly. And so that is that is also a moment in ministry, in artistry, in whatever you're doing. That something you we think that we're supposed to and be. And it takes some time, like, because this is another thing I be saying about, like, the environment that we were yeah. brought up in. Like, a lot of the stuff that's taboo to us, other cultures may have been able to, like, dangle that a little better. And so... And, well, that's I a, say, and that's a deep note too. It's like other cultures are sitting there with the navy because y'all taught them that, but then y'all forgot that y'all taught them that. No, like as what you were people, about, but uh, we forgot we taught them. Yeah, like the collaboration of that, like like being able to utilize like what's it, so. Like I said, I grew up between Long Beach and the Valley. So in, in Long Beach, and in Long Beach, it was uh, it was the hood. You feel me? But in the Valley, I'm a skater. You feel me? I, funny, I was a skater. You feel me? That's funny, yeah. And so I was able. We had what we call the Rainbow. Well, my wife calls it the Rainbow, Rainbow Coalition. Like, like it was like three black homies, like three, four Mexican wow. homies, two, three Jew homies, two or three white crazy. homies. Like yeah. it was literally like these are couple, this, this was really the squad. Because I feel like if you don't all have that many all other, act, what are we, we all doing? acted. We all we went to performing back in school. So we all act. We all did uh, activities like skating, basketball, sports, track. All that. So yeah. we all did all of those things, but these were the homies. I did not hang around just all black kids. Right. I did not hang around Mexican kids and try to be them. I didn't like it was all of us together. We yeah. just like I think the moral of that like is one of my homies is a, is a famous skater, you. also a son of a, a famous actor like that I grew up with, Paul Rodriguez Jr. Shout out. Sponsored by Nike. The whole jug. One of my homies is now a, a successful lawyer. You feel me? Like one of them is a successful actor. One of them, like, come. Some of them is like me. Nigga, the, the, the other rewind, whether it was white, Mexican, or indifferent. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. and so like it just it's just a journey of life. So I was blessed to be able to see so many different things that well, while, while I'm well versed, you feel me? Like, no, yeah. like I feel like the same thing from you. Like you come from a certain dynamic, yeah, feel, but your very... your mental and your your heart is in a different dynamic, and so you're you're torn between certain things. But you're just navigating. No, one hundred percent. And not to mention, it's given visionary. Let's just shout. No, for me. sure. It's given visionary. That was the first thing I said. He's well, this is given for me, and I'm like, I'm, I'm off tape on my phone and on my shit, but I'm on tape for yours, and I hope you catch it for the voice. It's given. What Rap City the basement was before Pat LaBelle bought the house. So that was Pat LaBelle's house. <laughs> she bought the house. She told Cuz he could do, you know what I'm saying, studios and do your shit and things.